I'm with Jim Rollo from State Farm Insurance, and today we're talking about the things you need to do to keep your home safe in the winter. Jim, thanks for being on the show today. Hi, John. Today. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, there are certain things, and I, I am a little bit worried because we're going to talk about frozen pipes and things like that, right. but, but the last time we had you giving us a talk on something, it was on flooding, and then we got like a 500-year flood. Right. So. It was the week before the flood that yeah. we did the interview, so hopefully... A week from now, we're not going to have a big ice storm. Yeah, right. right. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Any rate, uh, actually, the weather people will start tuning into your interviews. Right, exactly. To see what's yeah, happen. exactly. So, any rate, the uh, uh, the the things that occur that you get for claims in the winter time right. is a good indicator of yeah. uh, what somebody shouldn't do. Right. Yes. Exactly. In the winter. Yeah. Exactly. And so, you know, you're helping people get into a home. And our goal is to help keep them in the home right? Right, right. and help them protect their investment. So right. That's, right. Uh, that's part of what we're about, and that's what we want to talk about today. Claims that happen in the winter result primarily from, from three things, two of which we can get into now. One is uh, ice damming. Right. So people have ice dams back up on their roof, on the shingles, and... The water penetrates back up through the shingles and leaks into the house, and then you have And it looks like there's something wrong damage. with the roof, which there's really not something wrong with Correct. the roof. Correct. That's right. And we'll get into that. And the other thing is water damage because pipes freeze and burst. Yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, you have a bad day when that happens. Yeah, right. Real bad. And, and if we talk a little bit about frozen pipes, and we have a good uh, a little brochure that we give people about preventing frozen pipes, because... Uh, there are things that policyholders can do before the cold hits, and so I'll show you some of these things. Before the cold hits, uh, insulate your pipes in crawl spaces and in the attic. So any place at your, in your home where the air might be cold or it might freeze, you want to insulate the pipes. Where I see it a lot is like if someone has a, a put a like, a, like maybe a, a washer and dryer out on the back porch, and there's no right. heat source back Correct. there, and there's a tendency for it to freeze. Correct. Or down in a basement, and they have electric heat, something like that, where there's no heat keeping those pipes. We just had somebody uh, recently who put a bathroom over a what was a back porch. Right, that's right. But Perfect it was an example. open space. It was a, a crawl space under the under the porch, and the pipes froze. Right, right. A, a new bathroom. So. But uh, what makes it particularly dangerous is if they're going on vacation. Right. You go on vacation or we have snowbirds. They go to Florida for the winter right. and they get back or they get a phone call from one of their neighbors who's looking after the house. Hey, I think there's water running out your front door. That's yeah. probably a bad sign. A very bad sign. Right. I've seen houses ruined from that. Right. Now, the value of the home doesn't go up because they have now an a, a, a indoor pool. Yeah, right. I guess, <laughs> right. You <laughs> don't want basement. that. Um, so the other thing you can do is put heat tape on the pipes, uh, thermostatically controlled heat tape. And none of these that are expensive things. Right. And they're typically things a homeowner can do themselves. Uh, so we talked about ceiling leaks. Disconnect garden hoses. Turn off the water in your water supply in your garage, for example. A lot of people have a, a hose connection in their garage, and you have to turn off the supply to the garage for the winter. I mean, if you're, especially if you're going away, you're going to go to, to south for the winter because you can have, you know, this water burst and, and spray all over your garage and, you know, all sure. your, your cars in the garage will look like a bunch of igloos right. sitting there. Like that picture you have. Right, exactly, covered with ice. Yep. Now, Jim, ice damming, what causes ice damming? Ice damming is caused by a differential in temperature in your attic versus the outside temperature. Right. So your goal is, and uh, people don't always understand this, your goal is to have the temperature in your attic cold. Cold. That's be right. as close to possible as the outside temperature. So what are the kinds of things... So that, and the reason for that is so you don't melt the snow on the roof so the water correct. leaks down and freezes up the, correct. the gutter. Right. So if you look at this, you know, this is an example, and this is right on our website. You can pull this up and look at it. If, if, the, if the temperature is warm in the attic, it melts up on the top, melts the snow off, it runs down. When it hits your eaves where, you're, where it's cold, where you have your soffit, then ice builds up because the warm 
air right. stops, right. the snow <laughs> wa the melts, the water comes down and it builds up ice and then that ice starts to back up under your shingles and ruins your house. Yep. And the water comes inside the walls, you've got black mold in the walls, now your ceilings are coming down, all of that just because of the <laughs> temperature in your, uh, in your attic. So, and if somebody's buying a home, oftentimes they get a home inspection done. Right. And the home inspector will talk about that. And that's why it's so important to have a home inspection done to know if you need to do that or not. Right. And they yeah. should do it. They right. should insulate the floor of the attic so they can keep a cold Absolutely. air attic. Absolutely. Jim, this is great information. If somebody wants to get a hold of you to, you know, to insure their house, or to, to get this information from you, what do they do? They just call me at 754-3000 or hit me on the web at jimrolo.com. All right. Thanks yep. for being okay, on the John. show. Okay, John. Thank you.